Hello watchers and dear subscribers, this is again Shrek from SmartHerd. Welcome back to make your Android application tutorial number 12. For the next 2 or 3 tutorial, we are going to discuss, we are going to go deep into our linear layout. Now, there are basically two types of orientation of linear layout. The first is horizontal and the second is vertical. Now, what does it mean? Now, when you fix the orientation of linear layout horizontal, then your linear layout gets divided horizontally into the vertical sections. Now, what does it again means? This means when you design your layout with the help of the linear layout having the horizontal orientation, then in that case, you can't place your widget one below the other. The widgets are always placed adjacent to each other. Here you can see a button placed at the left hand side now. If we place the text view, then it won't come below the button. It will be automatically be placed after the button. And similarly, when we insert the third widget that you can see here, it will be automatically be inserted in the third section of the linear layout horizontal. Fine. Similarly comes the linear layout vertical. In this orientation, your layout will be divided into the vertical sections like this. Now which again implies when you place your widget then your widget will come one below the other which means you can't place this text view just after this button all the widgets are aligned one below the other like you can see here the layout is divided into the vertical sections now let me quickly jump onto the eclipse and show what i am actually talking about now in the eclipse i am having a linear layout now here I have fixed the orientation as horizontal. Now let me show you what it implies. Go to the graphical layout, drag a text view. Now as soon as you drop the text view, it will be aligned at the top left corner of the screen. Now if you insert a button now, then see what happens. If you insert the button, then it won't come below the text view. It will automatically go after the text view, right? You can try placing the button below the text view, it won't come here. It will be automatically be aligned left of text view or it will be aligned right of text view. But the widgets won't come one below the other, right? Let it be at the right hand side. Now again insert, let's say, edit text. Let's see what happens. Now you can see automatically your Eclipse IDE is showing. It is compulsory that you have to insert your widget after the button or before the button. You can't place it below the button, right? So just drag and drop it here. Our text view, button and, and edit text are aligned one after the other, right? Now let us keep all the widgets as it is. Now let us now change the orientation to vertical. Now here our orientation is vertical. Now let's check the graphical layout. Now here you can see our widgets are aligned one below the other. This is our text view. This is our button and this whole layout is actually our edit text. Now let me check why it is taking the whole space. Now here you can see automatically it has generated layout weight equal to 1. Let me clear it. Now go to the graphical layout. Yeah, now it's perfectly fine with the edit text. So in this video we learned we have two orientation of the linear layout. One is horizontal and one is vertical. This is our vertical linear layout in which the widgets are placed one below the other and in the horizontal linear layout the widgets are placed one after the other. So in the next video I will talk about the attribute gravity present in the linear layout and after that we will discuss about the layout gravity and the weight sum attribute in the linear layout. So thanks for watching. This is Shrek from SmartHerd signing off. Meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below my video and please support us in a way you can. Thank you and have a good day.